from the South. I am your news anchor, Diego Martin, from the Telesur Studios in Havana. We begin with the news. Official government information reported the blast that went off in Havana's Saratoga Hotel on Friday left eight people dead and more than 30 injured so far. Preliminary numbers also showed 13 missing people. The explosion caused a commotion in a highly transited area of the capital near Fraternity Park in the capital, the government's headquarters. The blast left the first and second floors of the hotel in nearby areas with severe damages. Preliminary information from the authorities accounted the cause of the blast as a fatal mishap during a downloading procedure of liquefied gas from a fuel-carrying truck to the hotel, ruling out a terrorist attack as the reason for the disaster. Firefighters were asking bystanders to remain far from the structure as it presents risk of collapsing. And the president of Cuba, Miguel Diaz-Canel, was on site to personally address the situation and have a direct contact with the authorities in charge of the search and rescue operations. The head of state was accompanied by Prime Minister Marrero Cruz and the president of the National Assembly, Esteban Lasso. As such, President Diaz-Canel later went on to the Hermanos Amejeda's Hospital, one of the most renowned hospitals in the city, to have first-hand information on the state of health of hospitalized, hospitalized patients. Prime Minister Marrero Cruz and Minister of Health Portal Miranda were with him. Currently, the President and the Prime Minister are back at the Saratoga Hotel to continue to assess the rescue operation and receive an update on the hotel's structure. <laughs> 